and Education Division of the Ministry of Health, the director recommended Mibo. But unfortunately, we did not meet each other at that time. I said I came here to learn from you. Anyway, I am regarded as an expert in some field of medicine. I have worked in the cardiac surgery department for 32 years and have done more than 10,000 cases of cardiac surgeries. I have even performed the China's first heart-lung transplantation surgery, so I told him I don't believe your theory, but if you can help me believe you, I will worship you as my teacher. For three hours, by drawing on scientific evidences, he told me how burn treatments should be changed from dry therapy to his moist therapy. According to traditional burn medicine, skin grafting must be performed when the dermis disappears. He showed me many pictures and film slides, which showed defective tissues without intact muscles and dermis in the leg. But after the application of Mebo, the bone-exposed leg grew new skin. Additionally, he showed me many x-rays and cultivation pictures of the severed fingers. The severed fingers were covered with their normal structures. Bones, muscles, nerves, fibers, fingerprint, and fingernails were all functional. As we all know, earthworms and lizards can do this, but our humankind, the high mammals, can't do this. Professor Xu overturned my concepts towards life sciences and the traditional medicine just at our first meeting. Although he is eight years younger than me, I worship him as my teacher. Although we haven't known each other for a long time, we have been very good friends. On the CCTV program, Struggle, I demonstrated one picture of my own, which showed the left side of my intima at my nasal septum falling off. The ear, nose, throat experts have even given up the treatment. So I use Mebo products, partly for the purpose of verifying the efficiency of Mebo. The nasal spectrum before the application of Mebo showed that the wound site was white with bone exposed and bleeding. One month after the application of Mebo, my nasal spectrum showed that my nasal mucosa regenerated. Also, in the case of one of my friends, his intestinal mucosa grew out. So I am deeply convinced that this technology is not just a treatment, but explains life and reinterprets medicine. Reviewing Mr. Xu's career, I want to describe it in the following points which may not be comprehensive. Firstly, he is a wise man. When he was still a college student, he made pumpkin experiments. To compare the advantages and disadvantages of dry environment and moist environment in treating burn injuries. And he got the results that the latter was much better. When he worked as an ordinary doctor, he invented the moist burn therapy, which was thought to be ridiculous, even to be hearsay. But just as said by Mr. Zhang, practical application is the only way to validate a theory. So, Professor Xu is a wise man. He is also a hard-working and dedicated person. Though abused, he still continued to stick to his career for many years, mostly by using the double-blind method. I even checked with some experts in Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences who have cooperated with Professor Xu before in the double-blind method. I asked them what the differences between Xu's results and others. Obviously extraordinary and outstanding. Thirdly, he is brave, because he dared challenge the traditional theory widely accepted in the world. If he's not courageous, he would have given up his career without being able to stand the overwhelming abuse. So we can see he is strong-minded. Looking through the long human history, we can find that almost all new inventions and theories were regarded as heresy at their first appearance. The theories of Copernicus and Darwin were considered as heresy at the time, but now they are vindicated. Although perspectives about the Vatican and the Bible have remained unchanged, the Pope, who burned Copernicus to death in that time period, would today yield to science and vindicate Copernicus, which proves that scientific power is eternal. From my own point of view, I think that Mr. Xu's theory is not fragmented but systemic, which explains life, disease, human life, and disease treatments from the fundamental perspective. So I think his theory is systemic. Let's hope Professor Xu continues to work harder to make his science not only benefit the biomed of China, but the Chinese nation 
as well as the whole world. Thank you.